Oh, yeah, yeah. I see, I see, I see. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. But y'all been wondering where I've been. Believe me, I haven't been sitting on my ass. I have been so busy. I haven't had time to work on my quilt. And today, I am finally done. Packing up friggin' orders. Hi, Mary. Here I am. I know. I made the world's biggest mistake. I went and posted my spoons because we're, we never done the craft fair this year. And I had all those spoons, all those hot chocolates. I had everything all made. So I went and posted it on the buy and sell groups that I belong to on Facebook. Oh my God. When I woke up in the morning, I don't even want to tell you how many messages I had. But the day just progressively got worse and worse and worse. And by the next day, I had to take those ads down. I, I couldn't keep up with the orders. Now, you guys saw all those spoons that I made. Well, yep, ran out of them. I had to make more spoons. I had to make, I had to go to the store, the bulk store, to get some more um, candy cane pieces because I ran out of candy cane. And I got there and I waited in a lineup outside for over an hour. I was so pissed. So, and then I ran out of peppermint. I had to make more peppermint. Then I ran out of milk chocolate. And I had to make all of these spoons to fulfill the orders that I committed to. To these people. And I was like, oh my God. And same with the snowman chocolate bars. My sister had to make me, I think it was nine more because the 40 was not enough. The only thing I have left over are some dark chocolate spoons and some hot chocolates in the mugs. That's it. That's all that's left. Um, I didn't run out of dark chocolate and I didn't run out of the white chocolate. But I ran out of milk chocolate. I ran out of peppermint. I ran out of candy cane. So this morning, I finished up making all the milk chocolate spoons again, and I said I've had enough. I finished packing up the last, I think, 12 orders, um, and that was it. <sighs> Never again. That was the most overwhelming thing I think I've ever done. So this is what I've been doing for the past week. In between decorating my house on the weekend, I wrote people and told them that I'm sorry they couldn't pick up on Friday. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Kathy. I told them they couldn't pick up their orders on Friday, that they had to wait till Monday because I had run out of spoons, and I wasn't lying. And I figured, okay, well, I'll make the spoons over the weekend. And Jeff and I just started getting our house, finished decorating our house because I was getting really fed up with that laying around. Then our new couches came. Absolutely hate them. I wrote the company. They refunded me my money. So now I have to go buy new couches because these are a piece of garbage. They are so, they're, you, you're just sitting on a board. There's no cushions. It's just like a little spring. You're actually sitting on springs that are covered with, with microfiber. Oh, my God. They're so disgusting. They're so small. They're just absolutely the ugliest things I have ever laid eyes on. And I told them that these are the most uncomfortable. You can't even sit on this couch for 10 minutes. You have to get up I because your been on butt hurts. Three days. <laughs> yeah, my sister won't even sit on them. They're so horrible. So um, I'm waiting for my refund to come and I'm going to go buy new ones. But I'm going to go in person. I'm never going to buy couches online again, ever, ever. These things were garbage. Can I laugh now? No, nope, I don't even <laughs> want to hear you say one word. <laughs> Martha, that's rude. They're awful. 
truthfully, I have never heard of anybody ordering anything like that offline. Oh, my God. I mean, they've got that. What's that one place you can order furniture from? Maybe uh, two places, but. I will never, ever, ever, ever do that again. Ever. They are so ugly and so tiny. They came into, they came in a box and in four pieces. So the, the, the bottom, which you sit on, the back and two arms. And they all just click together. And I'm like. Are is, you kidding? Is this the freaking couch? <laughs> Look at how small it is. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. I told you we'd go get your. Yeah, never again. Learned my lesson. And I'm not kidding, Martha. When I seen the boxes coming in, I was like. Are those couches in that box? That can't be two couches in those boxes. <laughs> we're like, well, another box is going to come. Yeah, we're just like, another box has to come. <laughs> nope. Well, when you said they were sitting in a box in the front room, I thought, what? Yeah, what? Yeah. They, Why not? would a couch be in a box? <laughs> I could understand plastic over it or something, but in a box? Yeah, that, uh, I think you ordered it in the toy section. Oh, it looks like I got it from a mini house collection. They are so ugly and so uncomfortable. They're not ugly. They're just... They're ugly. so fake looking because when you look at the couches, it looks like it's got three nice, big, fluffy cushions. Well, guess what? Was there any cushions to them at all? No, it's one piece on the bottom and they pushed in the they pushed in the sides to make it look like three cushions and they made it look like there's cushions when you look at it from the front. Yeah, but this and oh my Lord. Kathy and and it's it's about this wide, like my butt barely fits on the couch. So Did you take pictures of it? Are you sailing it mailing it back? They don't want it back. They told me to Hello. it or donate it. So are they refunding <laughs> your money? Yes, all my money. I'll be damned. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell them. Hey, they're good for like um, a bachelor pad or. Good for like a camp. They're just not something you can sit and, and get and watch a movie on. Well, oh it's better God. than building pizza box couch. Okay, this is no word of a lie. When I sit on the couch, I have to put three big pillows and a blanket just to put my arm on it, just to just to sit my arm comfortable because the, the arm is way down on the floor. <laughs> Learned a lesson, have we? Mm -hmm. If you go look at my house decorating, you will see the couch. I posted a picture of it with the cushion <laughs> on the back. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely disgusting. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not impressed. Not one bit. But they're 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 garbage. So, Jeff and I have to go coat shopping. Because we just can't sit on those. They're just very uncomfortable. Well, yeah. Yeah, if you go look at my Facebook pictures, you'll see a picture of the new couch. That, on the, if you look at the cushions, they're rounded like this, but all they are is springs. So you're sitting on springs. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah. How disgusting, <laughs> actually. It is disgusting. Like totally, totally disgusting. Can we laugh now? Oh my gosh, I see it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Do you see the arm? <laughs> oh my gosh, that is crazy. Yeah. Doesn't that look like nice three puffy cushions? <laughs> they are not cushions. <laughs> Believe me. My God. You're worse than them. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. 
I was thinking of getting a lazy boy. They're meant for people that are midgets. And that's no word of a lie. I'm a midget and I didn't like it. <laughs> my butt barely fit on it. <laughs> She's like, my butt barely fit on it. It is, it is very small. <laughs> Yes, and it's very skinny. So when you're sitting like the this is my legs. My my legs, if I sit on the couch, my legs are about this part of my thigh are on the edge of the couch. Like oh my god, I need to get the hell off this thing. So I've been trying to sit on it and relax all day and I have been up and down, up and down, up and down. I just <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to my bedroom to sew because I just can't can't get on the couch. <laughs> and Patsy's been in this room for three days. I've been wondering why she's been sitting here and not I'm on the couch. Well, there's room. I could move, but I, I got to keep getting up anyway, whether you're there or not. No, I couldn't handle that. I can't stand it. No. <laughs> that is a couch that would be absolutely perfect for those people that have those tiny houses. That would go good in there, but they better not plan on sitting on it. It would be better at a campsite. Well, at least you're getting your foot still can extend it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. What an idiot I am. I was just being so lazy, I guess. And instead of going shopping, oh, my God, you're killing me. I decided to go and just order it online. <laughs> oh. I never did that. I appreciate my name. <laughs> oh, shut up. I told you. And then I put my black couches outside in the front yard, and there was nothing really wrong with them. They just need to be cleaned anyway. I, I put three on them, and we stuck them out in the front yard on the boulevard. Well, someone come and pick them up the next day. They were gone. And when I, when I got up the next day, Patsy's like, so, are you going to go outside and get your couches? I said, no, there's probably mice in them. She goes, not that fast. I said, no, I ain't bringing those back in the house. Now they've been outside. <laughs> so, someone took them the next day. They were gone. Yep. It's a nice, beautiful, comfy black couch. Oh, wow, you... You know, you snooze, you lose. That's exactly how it is. I, I was lazy and <laughs> didn't want to. I didn't want to go shopping. Guess I have to now. I could probably buy a really nice whole set living room suite for the price I paid for those. Unreal. Oh, well, you live and learn, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Like I said, I just, I wanted to just relax today. I'm so exhausted from all the work I've had to do over these past week. Like, I'm, I'm literally getting worn out. I'm so tired, and I just can't sit on the couch, and I'm more comfortable on my computer chair than I am on that couch. So I'm sitting my ass over here and feeling good about it. <laughs> Yeah, that's just cupping. Yep. Yeah. So So I'm live today. I'm live this evening. And I'm only live because I can't sit still. And honest to God, I'm really tired. Like I've been doing nothing but yawning all day. And so where I did you sleep last night? Sorry? 
Where did you sleep last night? On that couch. Patsy oh my God. In our bed. Oh, I told you to sleep in your bed. No. You're older than me. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> but I'm smaller. It don't matter. Would you have slept on that couch? If I had no choice, yeah. Oh, my God. You no. would have been coming in the bedroom. Get out of that bed no, and go just, on the couch. No, I would just tell you to move over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just, I don't know, man. Those coaches are horrible. Yeah, they are. Definitely, definitely not worth the money we paid for them. But, you know, Wayfair was really, really good about it. They refunded me right away. I, I, I just told them that your coaches suck. They're garbage. They don't sit straight. You know the, the back part? That goes up against a wall it's about that wide just about that wide and that's with a little bit of cushioning in the back so from from what you're leaning on in the back it's about that wide so i have a doggy bed that i put on the back of the couch that doesn't even fit on the back of the couch and it because it, it's this wide it's awful I, i'm i'm so bad at buying couches Oh, I would. I would. I definitely got to go shopping very soon because I don't know how much more of that coach I can take. Yeah. It's awful. It's absolutely awful. And I'm tired because I'm not sleeping good, and I'm just getting worn out. But one of these days I'll get a. I, see, I'm still yawning. I even asked Jeff to make me a coffee. He goes, That's not going to help you. <laughs> Please help me. That's mint, mint coffee. It's actually really good. So, yeah. I'm I haven't been live for, I don't know, when's the last time I went live? I don't know. I have no clue. I don't even know what day it is. It was the day I, I advertised all those spoons and hot chocolates. And then the next day I was overwhelmed with orders. I was overwhelmed with orders the minute I posted them. I was getting messages left, right, and center. Finally, I said, I'm not looking at this anymore. i got to go to bed. I was getting there. Six days ago. Six days ago? Was it? Yep. That's how long I've been at this. Wow. Well, at least they sold and they're gone. There's no craft fairs. Um, there's a lot of people that were in the craft fair that are selling their tables because they don't want to go either because of all the COVID here. It's so scary. So can't say I blame them. Definitely can't blame them. I've almost got my Christmas shopping done. <laughs> Online, of course. Hello. <laughs> Haven't been out. Haven't been out much at all. And I'd just rather not go out. But at least I got my craft room cleaned because tomorrow we start our our do-it-yourself doll houses. I still have a little bit of mine to organize. My daughter's coming here at 8 o'clock in the morning. She's what? freaking out on me. Why so early? Because she wants to start her doll house because she has to leave at 2 o'clock. Raina's got to go to the chiropractor. Oh, my God. For her colic. I wonder if that helps. They never had a back in those days. No. Now they have it. All right. I have one more to do. I wonder if the doctors tell them that the kid needs a gold Cadillac and make them better. I don't know. So we start our houses tomorrow. 
my daughter really wants to get her house done. It's going on December the 9th or the, yeah, the 8th. And it's actually Cassie's birthday today. Mine yesterday, Cassie's today. So. We spent um, our birthdays together yesterday. We had um, roast. I made Yorkshire pudding. Hi, Tracy. I made, or Jeff made, or I made roasted potatoes. We made roasted carrots. We made uh, apple crisp cheesecake. Oh, my God. That was so good. Yeah, we made apple apple crisp cheesecake. We might for the diet for now. <laughs> yeah, it kind of blew our diet, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm going back on it. Yeah, we are. And uh, we spent the day together doing our... My other daughter came. She brought Caesar salad. And we uh, just sat and chatted all day putting our houses in or order. So we we organized our our little things, all the little tiny pieces. And I numbered them like I like to do because it just makes putting the house together much faster. And we put them all in order like from A1 right up until oh geez, I think I can't remember what there is. I'm not finished mine. I'll finish mine in the morning. Cassie's all finished her, and so far, in mine, I am missing three things, three pieces of three items that were supposed to be in my kit were not in my kit, so beware. My daughter, she's missing nothing. All of her pieces were there. I didn't get green ribbon. I'm missing a piece of wood. Thank God she's got another house coming because I'm just we're just gonna rob that house of all the pieces that I'm missing. And watch that house not happen. Oh, the second Christmas house? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So <sighs> giving my brain some oxygen. Mary, in your house, you'll have instructions, and it'll tell you what all to put together, what pieces you need. Them are the pieces you should put together in one little one yeah, little order. yeah, you'll be putting your house together according to the directions. So that's how I'll be doing it for sure. It's just I put everything in order. Like AP, I go through the book. It shows you all the pieces that you should have and how many of each. And I just put them in little baggies and label the little baggies. So that when it says to put A1 with G4, then you know exactly what you're going to look for. Instead of digging through those bags, and trying to find those pieces. Oh. Sometimes that can, and then dumping it all out. No, I don't want to do that again. It's too hard. So I made my daughter do that yesterday. <laughs> I said, and she bitched at me all day about it. And I said to her, you're going to be thanking me for this when you start making that house. So... We'll see. We shall see. So, yep, yeah, that's, uh, that's my story, guys. It's so busy. And I am worn out. But I sure wish I had this quote done. It would look so nice on my new coat. 
maybe it'll improve it. Um, <laughs> the quilt probably will take up the whole couch. <laughs> I'll be thinking of you when I'm sitting on my couch. Uh, that is so cruel. And then I'll jump over on my puffy love seat. <sighs> and then I'll jump on my lazy boy puffy chair. What lazy boy? You don't have no lazy boy. Yes, I do. Where do you have a... Oh. A white one. Oh, yeah. Right. I bought it after I sold that set. When I couldn't stand that material. The brown one? No, no, I got my brown one. Which one? That one, like, with Chinese material. I don't know what kind of material it is, but what you call it. Where did you have this set? What? In the, in the apartment when I first moved in there. Oh. The white one. I thought you didn't like this new one. No, I didn't like the material on the one I had on for Greek. This one, the material on this one's corduroy. I like the corduroy. Oh. Yeah. Ouch. That's the one I was thinking about. Yeah. I don't like that other material. Right. Not new material. I don't like it. Oh, I don't All right. Game is on. got them all made now. Just need to coat them all. Coat the ones I haven't done. Good job. Hey. They're all of them. They're hot. Oh, shoot. Um, get rid of this. They so don't be needing this now. Oh, what a thing. always have to be so complicated to put back. They want to be, that's why. Okay. Oh, wow, that's a lot of quilting to do. Okay, so there's only two done. All right, I can only use one piece at a time. One square at a time. I hope and pray I get it on here. And the best thing to do is to just turn it and judge it and make sure you have at least an inch on all sides. And then pin it. And I need a friction pen and a marking tool. Is this a friction pen? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, it is. It says friction. Actually, what you're going to do is mark your lines. Why isn't my pen working? Is it dried out? What the hell? 
It was working. I'll just grab another one. He's going to fret over that one. Alright. So I'm just going to draw where I got to do my quilting. So this is about inch. These are two inches, so an inch and a half. So I need to be an inch and a quarter away. Right? No. Inch and a half. Is like the Canadian flag. It looks like it. Yeah. Yep. So what I'm doing is drawing these lines because we're going to quilt it on both sides of this line. Okay. That's how you do this. more pins in just because it might shift on me while I'm quilting it and I don't want it to so oops this is the one where you want to leave tails oh. and I'll show you why so you want to kind of start off your fabric. No, 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 no. Not there. Yowza. Might that do that? So you just want to see how it puckers there so leave a tail so you can flatten that out same with up here what the heck this one went all the way Yeah. 
So my guide is on that line. And that's why I didn't really care how straight I sewed on this piece of lace because the middle piece, you won't see it. It gets kind of hidden and camouflaged and you don't even see where it's because it gets stitched down on both sides. So your lace will lay nice and flat for you. That's one side. So there's my quilting lines. So you can see them. There's only one set. There needs to be two. You see? There's only one. Now we're going to do two. And then that just means you flip it around. Now you go down the other side of that line. quilting lines you will see on the back for sure. This quilt as you go is so stinking easy. You don't have to worry about puckers. <coughs> you don't have to worry about anything. You don't even have to worry about your lines being straight. Because I sure as the heck didn't worry about that. there that one's done now I'm gonna give it a little iron to get rid of all the black marks so we'll turn that on but what you want to do is cut all your your things off little threads Make sure they're not snagged on the back like those ones are. Like that one is. Ruby let Kathy in. I thought she was in. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know she popped out. Sorry, Kathy. <laughs> You're okay. I think I laughed so hard, StreamYard threw me out. 
<laughs> no. I've been messing with them in chat. <laughs> I I wasn't even paying attention like I know. Oh, you're fine. All right. <laughs> now to this little press and those black lines will magically disappear. What's for dinner, Martha? All right. I guess she can't talk. She's eating. There's our double lines. All you have to do Ooh. is check the back to make sure you've got your double lines. And that's... 30. That's one square quilted. And it goes pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure does. Yeehaw. We've got three done. What? Yeah. There's those. Oh my God, I'm trying to pick that off and it wasn't even a thread. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I hear it and I'm trying to pick that off. <laughs> so yeah, you need four of them to make one block. Really, really and truly. So it looks like an inch. What's Patsy making? She's working on a red right quilt. Christmas right quilt. Break. Yeah. yeah. Mine are done and bagged up. Yep. Finally. Yours is done? Mm-hmm. And they're all in their little snowman duffel bags ready to go. Where are they going? To all the great nieces and nephews. The littles. Oh, ouch. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, they had these little, like, vinyl-type drawstring bags, and it has looks like a snowman face yeah. on it, and they just fit right in there. So cute. Aw. Yeah, I bet. I guess my husband will go around and deliver them since we can't have Christmas. Jeez, crazy. Well, we moved to orange, so... I don't know what's going to happen for Christmas. Well, they decided to cancel Christmas Eve at Mom's like we normally do. So they yeah, were saying since they weren't doing that, they didn't want to be, you know, buying for the kids and that because people, you know, try to stay home as much as possible, not be out shopping. But I'd already made them. So I'm going ahead and giving them what I got. Yeah. But it's just getting bad. My doctor said, excuse me, um, that they had a, like, when it started getting a little better back in, like, July or something, they yep. had, like, 30 in the hospital, and now they have 100, and they're getting ready to open another unit. Oh, no. But it's, yeah, it's getting bad, she said. I was like, ooh. Well, my husband was on the phone with somebody at work, and he got a call from his mother that his cousin passed away. He had he was 59 or 60, no health issues, been on a ventilator for three weeks and passed away. Oh, my God. Yeah. So he's like, you need to go take care of some things. You go. <laughs> it's just so sad. It's just awful. It it's very depressing. You just don't. I'm back to, like square one. I'm not going out. Nope. I'm not going anywhere either. I am. Well, you are, but I'm going home. <laughs> I got to go outside. I got to go to the store Wednesday and get the rest of the stuff I need to make Christmas dinner and or what I can get that I'll hold <laughs> off till then. 
Are That's you having it. people over for Christmas? No, I'm going to make, since we're going to be home, I decided I'd make it. And then I'm going to have my son come over and take some to him and make and take some home. That's what we're going to do. We're going to exchange our food yeah. at my house. So the girls are going to, you know, cook something, whatever, you know, whatever they're supposed to cook. Normally I cook the turkey, the stuffing and the gravy. Yeah. And then I got one of my girls usually makes the uh, big mashed potatoes, uh, the vegetables, the salads, and if and pierogies. The girls always get together and make the pierogies. So they're they're homemade. And sometimes I make cabbage rolls and sometimes I choose not to. So this year I, I really don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I want to put myself in that predicament where I'm stuck doing so much cooking again, like I did yesterday on my birthday when I wasn't supposed to be cooking. Um, but yeah, that's uh, what I'm afraid of. Oh my God. I made the best Yorkshire pudding in the whole world. What is that? What is Yorkshire pudding? Oh, it's just like an egg and milk mixture with flour. And you put it in a, in a muffin tin, but the, it's got to be in smoking hot oil hmm. that you put in the oven. Then you fill them up about three, three quarters of the way with the batter and it poofs right up about this high. Oh, my. Oh my God. I got to show you them. I'll I've show never you. Seen it. Right back. Okay. What? Yeah. Oh, I like them. It is. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to them. You can eat like ten of them and not even full. Oh, they're good. They're just full of air. <laughs> Match my head. Air head. <laughs> air head. Coco, we could go to more. Are you missing your cup? They're almost like a big air roll. It's an air roll. They've shrunk down since they've been in the fridge. But I will show you them. And you have to use a vegetable oil because that goes to a very high smoke point. But this is what they are. And they, come, they rise up in the muffin. And then when you open them up, they're empty. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Absolutely empty. That's that's what they're they're called. Oh. Have, they don't always turn out. And the reason being is because you're not making your batter right or your oil in your muffin tins are not smoking hot. So you put the oil in and you these people put them with roast and gravy. That's what Yorkshire pudding is, is just to it's oh, they, no. it just tastes like an egg roll. It's have it. Have it. Mm -hmm. 
I've never seen it before. Yep. I made two muffin tins full, so there's 12 in a muffin tin. This is what was left. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for showing. Yeah. <laughs> so what I did is I made my batter the night before. So Saturday night, I made the batter because that's what it says. If the batter rests in the fridge overnight, it will turn out for sure. So that's exactly what I did. You want that? And they turned out, the minute I put them in the oven, they were um, poofing right up already. <laughs> I was like, yeah, all the big, really big puffy ones are gone. That's the ones everyone ate. They just left. There's a few that didn't get too, too big, but they were still really good. Yeah. They look good. And Mary's mom would put pudding in the center. Mm. Oh, cool. Ooh. Yeah. So... How can you can't bake pudding? I don't know how you would do that, but um, I'm, I'm assuming it would be after they're cooked. She would fill them with pudding because people fill them with gravy. So they're supposed to be really good with gravy. I'm not a gravy person, so that wouldn't be my thing. They taste like like egg and flour. They're just, they're really, really good. It's almost like a scrambled egg. Yeah, it's like a scrambled egg, almost. Mm. It's so good. They are really, really good. They're really light. Like, you see them? There's nothing to them. You can eat 10 of them and not even be full. Mm. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> it's hot in here. You're hot? You yeah. This on you? Yes, please. I am really hot. Thank you. Oh, you feel good. it? Yes. It's stuffy in here. My dad loved those. I used to make them for him all the time. And country cheese biscuits. He would just wolf those down. But anyway, my mom yelled at him one day because I brought a whole I, I brought I invited them over for dinner and I made Yorkshire pudding. And my dad was eating one right after another. She's telling my dad, that's enough, Julius. I said, Mom, he can have as many as he wants. That's why I made them. <laughs> <laughs> Same with the cheese biscuits. Oh, he would he want he loved those. Country cheese biscuits. They were so good. And they always turn out better when you use lots of hard cold butter in it. And I absolutely love my new stove. Oh my god. That stove is amazing. <laughs> A gas stove does cook faster. Hi, Linda Tree. Hi, Linda. What is she saying? I can't see. I'm so far away. Uh, they're kind of sound like they may be like a cream puff shell yes that's the word i'm looking for linda yes like a cream puff shell because they're absolutely hollow except a cream puff um is a sweet is a sweeter batter this is not sweet at all it's it just tastes like eggs and flour and and milk it takes whole milk so they were really good. They were worth it. Oh, my God. My kids loved them. And I said to my daughter, Cassie, I'm like, come and see these in the oven. She's like, no, I'm mad at you. And I'm like, why? She said, because I tried to make those and they did not work. I said, come and see mine. 
Yeah, it's enough. It's a very finicky batter. If you don't do it right, you don't have the right heat on your oil. I think that's why they flop, is that people are so scared to let their oil get really hot. And you're only supposed to put a tablespoon of oil, and you got to use either a vegetable or peanut oil, something with a really high smoke point. And vegetable oil, can, you can bring it. My oil was smoking in the oven because that's what it says, smoking hot oil. So you put a tablespoon in, you put your trays in the oven, you let them get smoking hot, you pull them out, and you start pouring three quarters of the muffin tin full of batter. And you got to be really quick. Just pour, pour, pour. You don't want your oil to get cold. Shove them back in the oven really fast. And in about two minutes, you're going to see them go whoosh, like that. So leave your oven alone. Don't open your oven. Keep your oven closed. Just look through the window and you'll see. I turned the light on and I was like, oh my God. That was the most amazing uh, Yorkshire pudding I have ever made. That's the biggest it ever got. And it was huge. <laughs> they were, some of them were like this big. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. <laughs> I was scared the oil. That's another thing. You got to put a cookie sheet under that. And I'm going to tell you why. Before my father died, I had him over for dinner. And it was not too soon before after that that he had passed away. But anyway, I had him over for dinner. And I was making roast. And I said to him, I'll make you some Yorkshire pudding. Well, I thought I would be a smart aleck. So I went online, I looked for a nice recipe, and I found one that used butter. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, if this is not a clarified butter, this does not have a high smoke point. But okay, she said to use butter. Well, lo and behold, I used butter, but I did not put my, my tray, my muffin tins on a cookie sheet. So when I put them in the oven, uh, I got the butter really hot. I put the, the batter in. I stuck them back in the oven. When they started to rise, the oil went, uh, butter went over the muffin tin on the bottom of my stove. Mm. My, oven, my whole oven caught fire <gasps> and burnt my pans, burnt the inside of the oven. Uh, it set the, the um, what alarm is that? What the carbon monoxide alarm went off. I had to get oh, no. out of the house right away uh, because I was freaking out, panicking. But when we, when I opened up the door, the it was like a, you know, the back, back draft. Mm -hmm. the, place, the oven just went really crazy. Wow. Yeah. So don't ever cook Yorkshire pudding without putting them in on a cookie sheet. <laughs> If that ever falls to the bottom of your oven, you are going to experience what I did. And that was the scariest, scariest time of my life. And we have a fire extinguisher. Do you think we could get that goddamn thing to work? And <laughs> one of us to use it? Mm -hmm. It didn't. We didn't know how to get it to go. So I'm <laughs> petrified of fire. <laughs> Put the birds outside and i felt so bad because when my dad came like the house still you could smell that that burning smell that was in the house it was like in everything it was awful <coughs> so um poor birds had to stay out of the house for a couple hours just to be sure that that smell was gone I was running around now. The oven's on fire. The oven's on fire. Oh my God. <laughs> you couldn't even see the oven from fire. <laughs> yeah, that was scary shit. <laughs> that was mm -hmm. all Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> I promised my dad I was making him some. <laughs> Needless to say, my dad didn't get his Yorkshire pudding. It was kind of burnt. <laughs> So anyway, that oven, that stove, I sold it. I cleaned it all out, sold it. Because 
the top part of the glass had a chip in it <coughs> so we my son called the warranty department they replaced the stove and didn't take the old one they said they didn't want it i was like okay instead of replacing the part they replaced the whole stove okay wow so we ended up selling that stove but i cleaned it all out the only thing i could not get really silver it had like a uh a, like a little kind of like a hazy color to them was the the oven racks because those burnt but i sold them with the stove and i sold the stove pretty cheap for being a eight month old stove but i mean like hey yeah so always always you know learn how to use a fire extinguisher because none of us could get it to work <coughs> and by the time we did think about it the fire was already out once the uh, butter had, you know, burnt off, that was it. It was gone. But the smell. Oh. Oh, gosh, yes. I, oh. I the smell of steel and metal burning. Yeah, I sure learned my lesson that day. <laughs> I'm so surprised butter. you tried it again. Yeah, but I used, I used oil and put trays underneath them. And the oil did overflow. But it overflowed onto the cookie sheet. On the yeah. Yeah, and there was no smoke or nothing in the oven. There was nothing. Yeah, the oil didn't smoke or anything. It was just fine. So I was glad. It turned out. I learned not to ever use butter again. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, that was my 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 air, and not using a cookie sheet under it, so the butter just fell directly onto the elements. Yeah, and that stove, you, it had an element in the bottom, you know, a, a red hot element. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was a it was disastrous. But hey, what are you going to do when you live in a shoe? I could use a boot. My mom used to say, move to a high rise boot. High rise boot. <laughs> yeah, okay, well. Yeah, that was just dumb on my part. I should have just went with my gut that day when I was thinking, geez, why would I use oil, uh, butter, not oil? You know? But, hey. Oh, we don't want two of the same. What's on this side? Let's take this one. And that one. And that one. And that one. All right. Okay, so we're going to pin these two, pin those two, so this is how I like to do it, and that way I know I can line up my squares, but I like to fold the, them back. And these are not perfectly matched up. I can see this one's a little bigger than this one. I don't know why, but it don't bother me. So all you're going to do now is pull that out. And put your pin back. Almost 
press all that. Okay. Now all you do is take this and fold it this way and fold it under. way down. So you have finished edges. <clears throat> so it doesn't matter if you're crooked or straight or what. It, 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 this is just not going to be so, so seeable. So this basically is a sashing that's between your blocks that you would put if you were building blocks. Now I'm going to grab some lace because I don't sew this. I just sew the lace on it. <coughs> do is pin the lace now. Ouch. Dirty pink. Michael. 
what? Microfiber. Microfiber? Yeah. I don't either. Okay. And got pins going this way. Get these out. There we go. Okay. That's how it looks. That is so pretty with that lace. I know. I just love the lace on it. I don't know. It just. What it, would, it, what it would look like without it. I just can't even imagine what it would look like. Mm -mm. Uh, it just added so much. Yeah. So I'm not being picky or fussy. If it looks good, it looks good. I'm just going to roll with it. See how these are not matched up? But when this gets rolled over, you will not see that edge. Do you know what I'm getting at? You won't. You yeah. Won't it. It'll all be hidden. <clears throat> yep. That's why it's not going to even matter. Okay. Let's, let's sew it down. So I'm sewing it about an eighth of an inch away from the edge. So I'm going to actually put the pin over here. I don't want that to come out or undone. So I'll just slide that pin out. That one out. On this side, eighth of an inch. And that's what it'll look like on the back. All joined and, and not even even. Who cares? Because <laughs> I don't. Close that off a bit more. So this fits on there even. So I think we determined this one. So now probably shouldn't have put the lace all the way in there because it just makes it really thick. Oh well, that one's staying. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. You should only put the lace to here. Anyway, don't really matter. Now we're gonna join these.
try to match them up the best you can. And the most thing is do the centers first. You turn those down. I was like, "What the heck is she doing?" <laughs> what am That's I doing? Not right. That didn't look right. Yeah. Oops. You got to start on the fabric. What am I doing? Gotta kind of steer it because it is bulky right there. going to do is I'm going to take this lace off and do this lace right here and cut it off because it shouldn't I don't want it to be, to be flashy that's too thick right there it's going to be extremely thick so just trim the lace off this one should pull off no. All right. Pull those out. And I'm not going to worry about the stitching on that because I will have to go over this again with um, another lace over here. So I'm not overly concerned about that, but I will have to restitch over here. You don't want to create any more bulk. Say it's more six feet. What do you mean? Oh, Patsy, I don't know. Six feet? I don't know. Why? What are you wanting to buy? I don't know. I forgot for so long. Oh. They're sick. They're sick? Okay, I'm just going to stitch that back down, just in case. as well if we're not afraid. Yeah. 
Oh, one of these days I gotta sit and wind some bobbins. One of these days. When I think of it. Now, what kind of lace do I want down the middle here? Let's use this big one. So, I want it to go from here to there. Finger press it open. Pygmy. Very finicky, but with the lace, getting it on here, <clears throat> but it's all right. No big deal. <clears throat> That's pretty good.
Tell you what, using the lace hides a lot of your boo boos. Make any. Like, my satchel's not straight, so who's gonna see it now? No, because nobody, because the lace is cutting it. That's why I put it on my big old quilt. Yep. There you go. Look at that. Look at how the square is not even, even, but I mean, who's gonna be looking at that? It really still looks like a diamond. Oh, turn that quilt over. I got to see the back of it. <laughs> <coughs> be like, you better get up out of my house. <laughs> you better get that out of my house. It's not straight. Get up out of here. Your corners and your lines don't even match up. Get that out of here. It's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> it's a disgrace. <laughs> Okay, Phyllis. Oh, my glasses. No wonder I can't see. Good grief. Look at that. It is so pretty, 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 pretty. Gorgeous. I love it. And I can tell, I, I, I didn't even match up the laces. The laces are the laces. I don't care about the laces. They're far from my thoughts. Look good to me. Matching up laces. But, yeah. Someday I'll get this quilt done. <laughs> Someday, someday, I'll find you. I didn't want to take all these threads out, though. If you got little threads snagged in your seams there, just trim them out. What kind of mess is that? Oh, okay, get that. There. Got one block done, so that we will add to our our blocks. There's another block to add to our other blocks. So we have one, two, three. I need one more to for make two rows. <clears throat> Yahoo! Yeah, because four. Four blocks make one block. And I just think this is going to be so beautiful when it's all finished and, mm -hmm. <coughs> and joined. You could see I didn't go all the way to the end with the lace here. So that would be another row here. But it's very important that you match up your seams first. Don't worry about the ends match these up so everything mm -hmm. is you know that will be yeah. noticeable yeah yeah so that's how that's gonna go <coughs> i can see i have different laces all in that row it's so pretty 
So this one's going to sew to here. And then it's going to create another block here. So it's going to be like diamonds. Um, yeah, diamonds yep. everywhere. Yep, diamond here, diamond there. There's a diamond, be... there are diamond oh, everywhere. With diamond, diamond. <coughs> I'm stuck on there. Yeah, I love it. But that's all I'm going to do. I just wanted to come live to let you guys know I'm still kicking. <laughs> I'm a kicking. And we're working on our house tomorrow, so there won't be any sewing tomorrow. Got to get these Christmas houses done. Yep, it's narrowing down. Yep, so I have one, two, three, four. There's one block. One, two, three, four. Two blocks. Oh, wait. <coughs> That's to complete the other row. One, two, three, four. One block. One, two, three, four. Two blocks. One, two, three, four. So there's three blocks across. So that's exactly one, two, three blocks right here. No, four. <coughs> well, not going to go. So I gotta have. I gotta do four more blocks, and this is done. But they all gotta be quilted. <coughs> and I think I have more than I need for backing. So yeah. Tomorrow is house day. What time? Oh, shoot. That has got oil on it. Um, I'm, I'm not sure because Martha doesn't want to go early. Um, I, I just, I want to go early tomorrow because my daughter's coming here early. <coughs> and she has to leave early. Yeah. Yeah, because this is going to be, you know, quite a few hours of working in one day. Yeah. Because we're kind of rushing to get our quilts done. Our quilts. Our, uh, our, our, our house is done. So I don't know who's all going to be joining me. Nobody has messaged me yet. So I'm hoping um, the people that said they were going to join me, they're going to message and let me know, you know, if they're going to. <coughs> Man, I think there's fibers that go down my throat. Because as soon as I move this, I can see them all going in the light and I'm breathing all this in. Wonderful. Anyway, house day tomorrow. I got my whole big table to work on here. We'll be taking breaks. I know Martha's going to join me. I don't know when. Yeah, Martha's not not in a good mood. Um, That's pretty sad to lose a couple of your friends. I mean, about 11 o'clock, I could probably start. But I have to to work with tiny stuff. I got to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Well, Martha, I'm not telling you you got to start when we start. Yeah, that's true. No, whenever you get up and join the live and you feel like doing it, then do it. I'm not, you know. It's not it's not a race who's going to get done first kind of thing. It's just so I know my I can daughter start on it tonight then. <laughs> yeah, and I know Cassie <laughs> wants to get hers done. She's gung ho to get it done because she wants it up for Christmas. So that's children for you, pushy pushy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I sent her a message and I said, well, I'm not starting till nine or nine thirty. She comes back with big caps. Why? I want to get my house done. <laughs> I was like, okay, you can start your house. You don't need to be live. So anyway. Yep. So tomorrow, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Sometime Martha will join when she can. Jeff's on holidays for three weeks. Oh, good for him. Yeah, nice time here to get off. I started. I was sewing Martha? yesterday. Huh? I was sewing yesterday. What, what were you, you sewing? Sew? 
I made two monkey diaper covers that were one fit kind of, but they're too small. Oh. So, got to make a bigger pattern. Did you just make it up out of your head? Well, she gave me one of the old ones that she said is like not fitting him anymore. And she tried oh, okay. cutting the pattern from that. So I made that one. Well, yeah. the, the tailpiece was too small. The whole thing was too tight around his waist. So I tried to make a bigger <laughs> one. And it somewhat fit, but it turned out so cool. Um, yeah, so she gave me this other type of diaper cover. So I'm going to build one off that size. And yeah. she said this one is just a little too big for him. Yeah. So if I just follow exactly that pattern, it should fit him like perfect. Good. So. Aw. Yeah. Little monkey diaper. Okay, Mary, <laughs> I'm going to say between 9, 930. Is that okay, Mary? Yeah, between 9, 930. All right. She can text me or message me. Turn my she machine said, off. She said good. sounds good. Sounds good, Mary. Okay, good. I know you're up early too. You're like me. I like to just keep my foot down and keep my thread there because it pulls out. Whenever I'm working on my table, I somehow manage to pull my thread out of my needle when I'm not even near my machine. Seriously. I'm just that <laughs> cool. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you for joining me tonight. Take care. God bless. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good Bye. evening, everybody. Good morning. Bye. Bye.